video, I want to talk about cardio and whether adding cardio to your routine is really going to help you burn more body fat. Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jodi and I help you change your beliefs so you can change your body, your health, and your life. I'm going to simplify this video as best I can. It is a complicated topic, so if you don't fully understand it, feel free to ask more questions. But I think it's really important for you to know the truth about cardio, right? Everyone thinks that adding cardio in is going to help them get better results and burn more body fat but it might not be the case and I want to explain why in this video. Now I have nothing against cardio. There are numerous benefits obviously to your cardiovascular system. If you enjoy it and it helps with your mental health, then go for it. But if you're doing it with the idea that you need to do it because it's going to help you burn more body fat, then you really need to understand that it might not be the case. You might Google zone two cardio, does it help me burn more fat? And you will see that the answer is yes, in the moment while you're doing zone two cardio, it does help you burn body fat in preference to carbohydrates. What you have to understand is just because you're burning more body fat in that short period of time doesn't mean you are going to lose body fat because they're two separate things. Your body can burn fat without you necessarily losing it because your body is always balancing between burning fat and storing fat. So when it has too much energy available, it is going to go into storage mode. So after you eat, for example, and then when it doesn't have enough energy available, it is going to go into fat burning mode. It's going to utilize your fat stores for that energy. Throughout the day, your body is always burning or storing fat. What determines whether you lose fat from your body or not is whether the rate of fat burning is greater than the rate of fat storage. And how you end up achieving that is through your nutrition. You have to give your body less energy than it actually needs over the course of the day. And that is how you are going to end up utilizing those fat stores and losing fat overall from your body. Now you might say, but Jody, doesn't cardio help me increase my energy expenditure? So it's going to help me be in a deficit more easily. That can be true as well. But you have to remember there's also more to it. For some people, what they find is doing cardio makes them extra hungry. If you're in a calorie deficit, you're probably already going to be feeling a bit hungry and it should be manageable, right? If you're in a good size deficit for you. When you add cardio though, you might be extra hungry and it's going to be harder to stick to that deficit. So it might end up backfiring because you just can't stick to it. And remember, just because you burn more body fat in that short period of time when you're doing that cardiovascular activity, it doesn't mean that you are going to burn more body fat throughout the rest of the day. Being able to stick to your calorie target is far more important and is going to help you more so that should be the priority. Now, another way cardio can kind of backfire on you is that if it fatigues you and makes you tired, then you're going to end up having less energy to put into the rest of the day through your non-exercise activity thermogenesis. So you might subconsciously end up moving less and NEAT or your non-exercise activity thermogenesis actually forms a bigger component to your total daily energy expenditure than what exercise activity does. So in other words, all the little activities you do throughout the day, some of them subconscious, some of them might be a bit more conscious. Like if you are actively trying to get up more during your work and just go for a little walk or forcing yourself to walk from a further car park, all those little activities count more than what your cardio activity does. And the problem arises when you think that, oh, I'm doing cardio, this feels hard, I'm sweating a lot, this is burning fat, you think that's enough, and then you stop paying attention to the rest of the day. Cardio activity is great if you wanna do it, and if you feel like you recover well from it, yes, it will help increase your energy expenditure a little bit, but it is also a stress on the body, a calorie deficit is a stress on the body, your body needs some stress for it to change, but you need to be able to adapt to the stress well and recover 
otherwise you are going to end up burning out and getting nowhere. So again, I'm not telling you not to do cardio if you like it. It is not necessary though. You can definitely achieve great results and lose body fat by not doing cardio and focusing on your nutrition and getting your steps up throughout the day, moving more generally. So just make sure you are prioritizing what actually matters the most. And then the cardio, if you wanna do it, is like the 1% bonus thing that you can do if you like. That is all for this video. Thank you for watching. I hope it helps you. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. If you liked it, please like it. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe. And if that's the case, I will see you in the next video.